Hi, Val. Hey. I hear you got some ferrets to show off. I do. That's quite a cage you got there. It's like a like six feet tall, it looks like. Well, originally it wasn't, but I built this really cool stand on it. Oh. Built an apron. And it hides all the good stuff that goes with it. And I have all sorts of bins and stuff under here. Oh, and bins. Bins, okay. Bins to hold the cat litter and all the... Cat litter you use. Cat litter and food and all their bedding. You got some stuff on top of there? And, yeah, and I have scales. Keeping their weight and books and stuff is important. Oh, <laughs> books, oh, oh, ferret books for dummies it looks like. Oh, I have all sorts of ferret books. It looks like there's a stack of ferret books there. Yeah. This is Jesse. Oh, there's one ferret He's right my baby. There. He's my most active. He's my cat chaser. He's a good boy. What do these ferrets like to do all day? Um, they sleep a lot of the time. Uh, they run around. They chase each other. They play little war games. Uh, they chase my cat. It keeps them busy. Don't know what he's going to do when they're gone. They're very bored. They like to eat. They eat every three hours. They have about a three hour stomach. <gasps> what's in there? Oh, he knows what's in Ooh, there. Oh, yeah, he knows what's in there. So do they all have their own little uh, area in the cage that they hang out with, uh -oh, or do they yeah. all hang out together? They sleep together, they eat together, they have different beds. This is a sleepy sack right here. Oh, how That's many of those bed. How many of those do you have? Sleepy sacks? Yeah. I keep about three sets. Oh, there's of another them. one in there. This is Lucy. Oh, there's Lucy, one down this there. Is, this is a brown. Lucy's considered a silver because she's got some butterscotch on her. It's got oh. a little butterscotch on her chest. She's not an albino. She does not have red eyes. Jesse, what are you doing? You really like these characters, hey? I love them. And if you notice, Lucy's got some tattoos on her ears. Whoops. Why don't you put maybe one down and no, I like those. back up over here so we can see this. Well, that's good right there. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean your back. No, it's I'm hard to see your little buddies here. there. I'm going to okay. put back in for a second. Oh, and look at that. The doors just close like that, hey? Yeah. So that's pretty convenient by itself it right there. It comes down, but I'm just going to lean on it for a minute. Oh, look at that. This is a mar They're all martial ferrets, and you can tell because they have two tattoos on the ear. You notice that she knows what this jar is, too. Now, Lucy's the only one that if she gets out, knows how to come back. If you teach her, she'll come right back. Once the ferret gets out, though, they're usually gone. What do you mean by that? They'll hide anywhere? They only need an inch and a half to get out. They're like to a get, mouse. To get, they can get like, their head out, they're gone. To get like out of their out of cage anything. or out of their house? Out of anything. Out of your house, out wow. of their house. So, so you have to baby it takes a specialized cage. Yeah, Do they know. like um, play tag team wrestling or anything? Oh, you should see these guys. They're something do else. they know jujitsu or do they know martial arts? I like, cage, I like cage fighting and that's a pretty cool cage. Are they pretty tame or do they get pretty wound up? Sometimes you don't ever want to put uh, bath gel on and then uh, oh, have really? your legs because they'll, they'll try to taste it. Well, that's a really neat one, that white one. Squirty so you've got three nice ferrets. you got Squirty's a bunch a of water bottles. And Squirty's what? He's a sable. Oh, a oh. sable. Okay. He's hiding in here. He's sleeping. That's okay. We can see two of them in there. One, yeah. And you got a bunch of books. And that that's a really neat tube system. My oh, golly, it goes all over the cage and it in the outside up. of the cage. It's the only way they can get on the top is to go up the tube from this level. So these little guys get all the exercise they need. Well, you still need to let them out. Every now and then? If you don't socialize them, they'll get mean. Can you take them trout fishing? Well, I don't know about that, but they do like to get in your aquarium, so you need to keep the cover on that. Oh, they like to swim with fish. They like. They don't like water. They like to get dry. These are really neat little critters. I, yeah. I hope you have good luck finding them a new home. And I hope the... Oh, uh, I look. Hope, she's going up the oh, tube. She let me get over here. Let me see. They oh, are look. tunnelers. They love to go and tunnel. They'll tunnel in your bed. They'll tunnel up the tube. Wow. And then they got She's that whole up here. area up there. She's going to take the shortcut. She knows oh, where the treats are. Oh, 